Campbell Creek is a tributary to the Nashwalk River, which is a tributary of the St. John or Willustuck River. Campbell Creek Dam has been in place for about 100 years, and over that time, there has been no effective fish passage. So the entire upstream area has been inaccessible to migratory species like Atlantic salmon. So dams have been instruments of colonialism, and that's no different here uh, in the Wollastook watershed. Uh, they, what they do is sever ties between people uh, and the river and all the relations that would have coexisted for, uh, for millennia. Dams have a number of impacts, both upstream and downstream. The head pond that the Campbell Creek Dam created impacted the water quality of the stream, which impacts the animals that survive in the stream in terms of it's changing the water quality, the temperature. It's impacting the former vegetation that was here before. All of that was underwater. The Atlantic Salmon Federation's interest in this project is, of course, to help reconnect the ecosystem for the benefit of all species, but particularly wild Atlantic salmon. And that population has seen severe declines since the 1990s to the point where they're being considered for listing on the Endangered Species Act. We would like the stream and the former head pond restored to its natural habitat, so what it would have been pre-dam. So every dam's life comes to an end at some point, and then it is the responsibility of the, of the landowner, in this case the city, to decommission the dam in the most appropriate way. Involved in this effective partnership is the Maliseet Nation Conservation Council as the lead, the Atlantic Salmon Federation, the Nashwalk Watershed Association, St. Mary's First Nation, and the city of Fredericton. All partners came together to find funding and support for the project. We did baseline monitoring for several years to capture sort of the average or baseline environmental uh, situation upstream and downstream of the dam, and this included electrofishing, um, eDNA sampling above and below the dam, a vegetation survey, and then we wrote up a management plan to determine the best procedure for decommissioning the, the dam itself and then revegetating the head pond. As project archaeologist, we came in prior to any construction to ensure that we understood what the archaeological potential of the construction area was prior to any construction. So uh, we did some shovel test pitting um, prior to any of the uh, disturbance you see behind me. I am extremely happy to see this project come to fruition. It's been a lot of work for many of us. So to see machinery coming in here and see it finally coming out is great. <laughs> It's been very smooth so far, and uh, we've found some interesting things, and, and hopefully uh, we can help uh, provide some historical detail uh, surrounding this project kind of when, when it's all completed. There's a real priority here to open up as much quality, cold, clean water habitat as possible, and Campbell Creek Dam was just a perfect example of that. It opens up all kinds of great habitat, spawning, rearing habitat for Atlantic salmon and other species like American eel, sea lamprey, brook trout. Today we're moving the last of the construction equipment and culverts from the river and marks the first day in over a hundred years that Campbell Creek is really truly freely flowing. We partner with Community Forest Canada to carry out the tree planting on this site. They're planting uh, approximately 3,000 trees. You need to plant the right species in the right sites. And the best way to do that is to plant local native species that already have a role to play in the local ecology and to minimize any impact of invasive species that might come into the site. Post dam removal, we'll be continuing to monitor the site for at least one year to come. We had such a good partnership for this, and that was the number one key to success and we're all really proud to be part of it and to see it through. So the dam removal actually marks the end of a 100 year era for the Campbell Creek stream and uh, is really a return to what the stream and the region's people know and have known for uh, thousands of years. A free flowing stream unobstructed from barriers. So uh, yeah, it's a new beginning for the stream.